I fire away these guys. Go ahead and talk about your first half, the four touchdowns. Well, you know, um, we went into this week, you know, saying we're going to run like a base offense and, you know, we just practice the stuff that we that comes no, no, naturally. Uh, off, uh, O-line, we made key blocks in our – we had great blocking on the perimeter, so all I had to do was run the ball and make a couple cuts. Was it tough to come out of the game knowing how, how much fun you were having running? Oh, yeah, it, it was very tough. But the good thing about a game like tonight, I got to get on the headset, which I did for the first time, so I was so excited. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's real tough uh, to come out of the game. But, you know, we have three running backs that are awesome, you know, that, that really play good, and we complement each other so well. So, me coming out, just I just I was happy because I got to give them the opportunity to showcase their skills also. When you go on the headphones, what do you do? Oh, I'm just no, I'm just sitting there. Awesome. What did you do to earn that right? Well, I, I was done. We had everybody get in, so the, the guys that's usually on him just got on. Gotcha. Okay. And it's been like the dream on the call, like the, the formations and the plays, and I just finally got to do it, and I was happy. <laughs> um, Daryl, I know this is senior night, and, you know, what does it mean to, to break all these kind of Murray State scoring records and be senior night, home opener? I mean, is this kind of like a perfect start? Start to the season. Oh, it's a dream come true. I never thought we'd put up the um, um, pinning points like that, but we came out real focused. Um, Coach has always been talking the whole week about being focused and stuff, so we had to um, let the seniors know we really care about y'all. We're going to send y'all out for the um, victory. So. Was it kind of like a gift for you all, too, to, to get those reps and to get some other guys that Most are in practice? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And Chavez, talk about. Um, you know, defending Campbellsville's line, it seemed like you guys were able to, you know, get a lot of rush on their quarterbacks and just kind of keep them scrambling on them. Yes, ma'am. I mean, like I said, most, you know, I want to give glory to God. You know, without God, nothing is possible. So, you know, coach just told me, just believe in myself and believe, you know, I can get there. So that's what I did. He said, play it, play it at our level and I felt like I did. But, you know, you can never be too good. Now, I know there are some questions coming out of the Missouri game about the defense. How do you guys feel that you – um, responded to those questions this week in practice and then displayed it in the game tonight? So, we did. We did, like, you know, Missouri, you know, they were saying the SEC, you know, uh, type stuff like that. But it, it really don't matter because we matched up with them and stuff like that. So, but I feel like this game, we came about more focused, you know. So, win the battle, you know. Chavez, was there any time that you looked at the scoreboard and were surprised, or what was the first time maybe you were a little surprised at the score? Oh, uh, the score. I mean, you know, I I never been in a game, you know, where we put up eighty three points. So I mean, it, you know, it's the first thing for me. Felt good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How much fun is it to play in a game like that when everything's clicking? Oh, it's great. It's great. You know, it's kind of hard to explain the feeling, but you know, it's a great feeling. <laughs> You guys feel bad at all about you know having to go to a, a short and fourth quarter? I mean, have you guys ever played in anything like that or? Um, feeling bad, not really, just because it seemed like the quarters were like three hours. Like it, it seemed like it would never end. So, <laughs> so I was, I was happy. <laughs> have you guys ever played a game where the quarter was actually short? No, never. You know, never. they say like, it's a first time favorite. Right. So never. <laughs> I guess this is it. <laughs> you guys ever played in a senior night at the beginning of the season either? No, no. Never, never did. Never did. But it's a blessing to be in a senior, <laughs> blessing to be in a senior night, though. You know, I'm a senior, I'm a senior myself, so it's a blessing to have a win. Just like Brady said, you know, just happy to be part of this team. Great, great um, chemistry, you know, great focus and stuff, you know. Just got to keep it going. Well, good to see you guys out at a home game. Um, I thought, um, you know, of course, our team, we came out, we were very focused um, considering the, um, you know, the, the NAI opponent we were playing. And um, I was real pleased with that defensively. Um, really got us started out on a good note with um, Wicks's interception and put us in some good field position. Special teams, we were pretty solid. And um, offensively, you know, we were inconsistent early on, um, but we, we kind of picked it up and we were able to really run the ball and, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, I, you know, I was glad we were able to shorten the game there at the end. Um, we played a lot of guys that normally don't get much playing time that I thought went out and competed extremely well. 
Um, but they were starting to get tired at the end because that's the most reps a lot of those guys have seen um, in, in, in a long time. And um, I know we had some great efforts all the way across the board, but that backup offensive line and Marcus Holiday did a really nice job. Um, they're controlling the game when we decided to put those boys in the game. So um, senior night went well. Um, we, 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 we got a bunch of guys that um, have worked really hard. And all in all, I mean, it, it, was, a, it, was, it was a good game. Um, a good, you know, I consider last week, this week, kind of preseason games as we head into FCS play. Um, I think we made some improvement in areas. And um, the goal these past couple of weeks, kind of find out who we are as a football team, what we're going to be good at. And um, hopefully um, we can make those corrections as we move into the future. You talk about the conversation that was had before the fourth quarter to decide to shorten the game. Um, yeah, you know, um, you know that first half was a long one. I mean, you know, it was almost two hours, and um, and you know, like I said, some of our backup guys, they you know, they were starting to get a little weary and um, and and whatnot, and and you know, you you, you never want to embarrass anybody by any stretch of the imagination, and but um, you know, you, you got to run the ball, you got to move, you know, you got to keep 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 those guys. They they practice too, and you got to get them some reps and. Um, you know, I was glad they they kind of, they agreed to do that. Um, just from the standpoint that, you know, I didn't want it to get any worse than it was. And um, you know, they they're a class act, and their their coach is a great guy. Um, their boys played extremely hard. We just um, you know we just outmanned them at the point of attack on the lines, kind of like when we go play a, a Division One opponent, one um, A um, opponent. You know, in the trenches, sometimes you get overmatched, and that's kind of what happened this evening. It was kind of a nice gift almost from the seniors to the rest of the team, some of those guys that, you know, have helped get them to where they are to have that position for some reps and some success. Yeah, I mean, it's always good for team morale when guys get to go in there and play um, that, that don't normally get to play that much. And um, and, and that's, that's good for those guys. They need it. They earn it. They practice hard every day too. So it was good to see that happen. Um, you know, I, I you know we, we, we just had good field position all night and, we covered good on our kicks, and um, you know, we I thought that um, you know we we did what we had to do to win the ball game. You know, I mean, by no means. I mean, we're very excited. We won. I don't get me wrong. We take them any way we can get them. I will assure you that. And um, um, you know, and and but again, I thought um, you know we just um, we got a great pass rush. Had some guys around the ball. Um, we gave up a. Um, we had guys hustling. I mean, you take you know, you're up big and. They break a long one, and Brandon Hathaway hustles down the field and tackles the guy at the one to give us another chance on defense. I mean, to me, that shows that guys are out there competing, and um, that's what I was the most proud about this evening. You see some strides out of your defense. I think you kind of alluded to that, just the lineup issues. That yeah, well, I thought, um, you know, well, I'll look at the film and whatnot, but I thought, um, I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, we gave up a couple plays there in the second quarter. I think we let our guard down a little bit, maybe had a couple young guys in the game in the secondary that um, may not have done exactly what, what we needed them to do. Um, but all in all, I mean, it, you know, when you 83-14, I mean, it, you don't have a whole lot to complain about. You've talked about the importance of weeks one, two, and three improving, having not seen the film from this game. Is there anything that jumps out to you that you're really, really pleased with so far through the first two games? Um, well, I, I think, um, you know, that we're, we're doing a nice job offensively of, of, of blocking up front. Um, I think we, we, we've done good in pass protection. We've been able to run the ball defensively. We've defended, um, you know, the one-on-one -on -one pass very well. And then um, we've, we've been tackling good. And those are some things that I like to see that are, are going to be key for us. And um, above all else, I think we're competing hard out there. we got a good attitude, got a good group of guys, um, and we're competing. And that's what I want us to see. Um, you know, tonight, um, you know, we played a, an opponent that was, you know, not, not – um, as good as us, and we went out there and we handled business, and we handled it quickly. We got the knockout blow early is what I wanted to do. I talked about it all week, and um, we were able to do that. And I, to me, that's a, a sign of a team buying in and a sign of a team um, doing the things that they need to do to be successful on Saturdays. Some of the chippiness, too, gets you excited to know the intensity is there, even if it's an opponent that maybe doesn't catch the attention as much as Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, the, the guys were ready to play tonight, and, and, and it showed. I mean, we came out, and a lot of times, you know, you play a team that, um, you know, you, you know 
um, that you should be able to beat. You come out and you're a little lethargic and um, maybe um, you need a little wake up call here or there. That was not the case tonight. Um, you know, you only get so many opportunities to play and, and, and we stress all the time to take advantage of each and every one of them and we did it this evening. You said in your opening that these first two games are a great season. You want to see who you are. So you've had these two games, so who is this team this year? Um, well, I got to go back and watch the the tape. You know, you, what you do is you you hope that you you improve from week one to two, and then from two to three you improve, and then after that third game, you know, you kind of find out, um, you know, what you're really good at, and um, um, every team's different. I mean, I'm not saying you know what defensively we may not be good at a certain blitz, so we don't run it anymore. Offensively, you know, we may be a little bit better running team or a, a deep throwing team or a quick throwing team. You know, you just kind of find out each year you got a little bit different nuance because they're different guys and different chemistry. Um, you know, we'll find that out a little bit more this week as we head into playing someone at our level. Okay. All right, gang. Thank you all.